uh, all of the successful tests we've done um, were uh, drawing from a boat tank. That's what makes me wonder if it is the actual uh, the pickup, fuel pickup pipe. But back to the drawing board. So let's climb this bad boy. I got fuel filtering through. And we will try this one more time. Oh, I also got some new starter fluid. So, this is the other issue I'm going to have to have to address. Why does it need starter fluid? Okay. Now, it's like we good, good cranking amps. And fingers crossed. Come on, come on, baby, come on. She wants to, she wants to, but she can't. Damn. A little bit more starter fluid. I wonder what would happen if I put it right down the throat. Little plug, little plug right on the on the air intake line. Okay, one more time. So I don't have any more amps. Ooh. Boy, she wants to go. Well, this could be the uh, just the pickup in the boat tank. I think I found the fastest way to start it. Bypass the bypass the air filter, go right right into the tube. Why right, she kicked right off? That could also indicate that the uh, what is it? The air filter needs to be cleaned. Once I figure out how to get the air filter off, uh, I disconnected the uh, air alarm because I'm not going to be putting her in gear. I don't need to use the brakes. Let me see how the power steering's looking. Doesn't appear to be dripping any more than it was. See how it reacts when I turn the wheel. Now she's not pissing any more than she was. 
So I might have that one taken care of. Or it might have all just leaked out. Still, I gotta keep the flower cracked open a little bit. But she, this is the longest she's run. So I think we've got to take care of. Right, this could be the first time I've stopped it with a prime. So that's it. The problem is in the tank. It's either the connection to the, where it goes through the tank, or it's the filler pipe. Probably the filler pipe because it was heavily corroded. Still a hesitation, and that's probably because of the connection in the uh, in the boat tank. Yeah, it's not not completely uh, tight. All right, we'll shut her off normally. That's it. Successful test. It's the filler pipe. Oh, you know, I didn't actually test that. Which wipers? I wonder if I've got enough pressure. I got a few other things to do, as well as the fuel line, to get her inspected. But we've addressed the uh, rear uh, reversing lights and the uh, reversing beeper. Probably doesn't need it. You know, I guess I could just ask, but hey, guys don't ask directions. We just take the long way around. We got the batteries addressed. Got the 12 volt auxiliary addressed. I still haven't figured out what kind of brake fluid I've got in this thing. So I got to get some, I got to get a sample out of that, that and put it in water. And if it beads, it's silicon. If it just mixes, it's probably DOT3 or DOT4. Oh. Uh, I have to uh, check the fluid in the power steering fluid, just the, the level in the power steering fluid to see if it, uh, see how much is dripped out. I'm using this, um, this power steering fluid, uh, motor medic, helps stop pump noise and wear, helps stop leaks by conditioning the seals. That might, might have been the issue with the uh, power steering, it just uh, sat around too long and the seals were a little dried out, just needed to get some uh, fluid in there. Uh, aside from that, successful test. Love it. Absolutely love it. Glad I bought this old girl. And as soon as we get that thing, as soon as we get a runner ready, I'll be changing her name. And more on her name to come. I figure I, I should get her running before I start naming it. And also, also I got to address that fuel filter, not uh, that air filter. But nice, nice. It runs. And last, it runs. Haltingly, but it runs.